So, two days ago, while I was at work, um, it was the same day I rescued that calf. Well, I didn't rescue it, but I reunited the calf with its mother because it was trapped behind a fence. Um, a little later after that same day, um, I roll up to a construction site and I'm servicing one of our units out there and I'm already in a hurry because, you know, I have 30 to 40 units in a 300 mile radius that I have to service and I'm, I'm, I'm in a hurry and I turn, you know, I turn my head and I see this dog run out and I'm, you know, I'm a dog lover, so I'm going to, I'm going to pet it and, you know, I always got time for dogs and. So I, I, when I go over to it, it lays, it just turns around and lays on my feet. And um, I have a picture of that. And uh, so I, I've been down and I start petting it and I realize that it's just filthy and dirty and nasty. And I can, I can visibly see fleas just horribly bad. And so I'm thinking, is this a wild dog? Or not a wild, but like a, an abandoned dog? And so I'm, I'm petting it and I'm going back and working on my units and I'm thinking and I go back and I pet it and, and uh, eventually I just, I'm like, whatever, you know, I'm going to go ask if this is somebody's dog at the construction site that I'm at and it's a bunch of heavy machinery moving back and forth and so I go ask one of the operators of these big machines, I said, is this one of y'all's dog? And he said, no. Um, would you please take it or find somebody because we don't want to run it over. It's just in the way out here. And I'm thinking, you know, don't threaten me with a good time. And so I start texting my old lady. I'm like, if I grab this dog, will you meet me? Because I'm where I'm at two hours away from my house. I'm three hours away from my house. And, you know, um, cause I, I, you know, I drive 45 minutes to get to work and then I have a 300 mile radius from there. And so she's like, yeah, sure. And so she met me. So I picked the dog up. Um, and I put it in my work truck. And I have a picture of that as well. I didn't get any video. I should have taken some videos of her. And, but I didn't, um, because I was in such a hurry. But I did snap a few pictures of her in the work truck. And I put her in the work truck and she makes four or five stops with me and my old lady meets me um, an hour from our house. So she drives an hour to where one of my stops are um, on the tail end of my route. And I give her the dog and um, she's looking at it. She's checking her gums out. She's like, oh, that she could be bad. And, you know, she could be severely dehydrated. She could have hookworms. I mean, her gums were pale, which is not a good sign. And so we make the decision to just take her home and see what we can do. And uh, two days later, here she is and she's flea free. Her gums are back to normal. And uh, I really just hope that the fleas of a thousand camels infest whoever's genitalia decided to dump this dog off and abandon this dog. Cause this dog just, it ran out and laid at my feet. It was the, it's the sweetest dog I've ever seen. And like I've ever come across, she just laid at my feet and you know, when a dog shows you their belly, you know, that's the belly is the weakest part of the dog. And, you know, I, she chose me right then and there. Um, so we named her Lily and here she is. She's a great Pyrenees mix. And she's only, she, my old lady was a vet tech and she's assuming that she's probably 12 to 16 weeks. And I mean, she's taking as big a poops as our eight year old lab. I mean, I this is gonna be a, a big dog, but you know, we've committed to it and we've recently lost a dog that we had of nine years to, to a tumor. So we've kind of had this void that we were looking to fill anyways. And she just worked out perfectly. And she's been the sweetest dog for the last two days. And she's been living super comfortably, um, have a big backyard for her to run around in. And she's got three other dogs that she's gonna make friends with. And she's already made friends with our lab and is getting along with our one year old. I mean, she's just perfect. I don't know. I don't know who could just drop off and just leave such a, a, a sweet dog. Um, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, look at her. Look at this thing. Just the sweetest, most lovable dog ever. I don't, I don't understand, but um, I'm gonna be constantly putting updates on here on Lily um, because I want you guys to see the, uh, the progress that she's gonna make. It's gonna be awesome, so stay tuned.